The rally cross-based Cupra Urban Rebel concept previews a tamer road car due in 2025. Concept cars are usually there to whet our appetites for future production models, so in the vast majority of cases, they're mostly about looks. Not so with Cupra, because we've actually been for a spin in the company's Urban Rebel racing concept, and can testify that it does more than just drive. It flies. Of course, the Urban Rebel is indeed a preview of a forthcoming road car. The new baby EV, being developed alongside models from VW and Skoda. But for the time being, Cupra wants to use the show car to demonstrate electrified performance. More than that, the firm thinks it can help fill the gap until the production vehicle arrives by starring in three roles. Firstly, it should excel on smooth asphalt. Secondly, it should be comfortable with being handbrake turned on bumpy, dusty gravel sections. And thirdly, that's where things get virtual. In the next installment of the popular Forza Horizon racing game series, the Urban Rebel racing concept will be recreated digitally, giving gamers the chance to identify with it and compete in it. As we stand beside the vehicle, we can see how it would work. A brutal mix of curves, slashes and sharp edges, the Urban Rebel looks wonderfully beastly, precisely the sort of thing that will dazzle on flat-screen TV in countless living rooms. Cupra has built two examples of its racing concept, each featuring a carbon fiber body shell wrapped over the basic construction of an RX2 class electric rally cross vehicle. The bare specs tell the story. A curb weight of just 1,230 kilograms, including the battery pack in the floor, pushrod suspension, four-wheel drive and 429 bhp of electric shove. We're told that it'll reach 62 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds, pretty much regardless of conditions. And here we are at a rally cross track, behind the wheel of one of the company's two prototypes, so we start with respect. From a standing start, the Rebel translates a press on the throttle into a kind of forward detonation. It reacts almost telepathically to steering inputs, and mixes a firm chassis set up with masses of suspension travel. We're not performing in front of a rally cross crowd today, and that's probably for the best. Despite our best efforts at balancing the distribution of power between the two electric motors in the front and rear, and the T-shaped placement of the batteries low down in the floor and central tunnel, the Urban Rebel reacts quite unpredictably to my inexperienced commands. Suddenly, though, it all clicks. I have to work hard on a loose section of the track to maneuver the Urban Rebel towards the asphalt section. Stones crackle like crazy in the wheel arches, the car grips heartily, buzzes mechanically and then shoots off in the right direction with an electric fizz. It's great, and proof that it's possible to feel emotions from cars even without a traditional engine noise. Something of a Cupra coup, you might say. Model. Cupra Urban Rebel Racing Concept. Price. 500,000 pounds, est. Powertrain. 2XE motor. Power. 429 bhp. Transmission. Single speed auto, four wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.2 seconds. Length. 4,186 millimeters. Width. 1,795 millimeters. Height. 1,444 millimeters. On sale. 2025, road car. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and turn on notification for more video. Welcome to Shopis Africa. Today we present to you one of our craftswomen Halima Abdul Sume. She was born in Morogoro. She started her business in 2018 by sewing huts, and then she expanded into clothing. She is a craftswoman and also an entrepreneur. She works with the trends of the market. When the bag market started to rise, she moved into it because she does what is trending, so that she can make her daily Her designs are inspired by cultural references. Actually, she enjoys creating and selling cultural products. She is 32, and she is the mother of three children, Amina, Jura, and Zakaya. She has got a team of three people who are helping her. Her main is to reach out the target market, which is difficult because she has to make the bags and also looking for clients. From the precious products we see, Halima needs people who will value the products she makes. Our task is to make sure that Halima is seen by the people, and the people should support her by all means, making sure that she gets what she deserves. Visit shopisafrica.com to buy her products.